The NBA has seen some glorious rivalries over the years. Player rivalries tend to go under the radar on the court, but they also make for insane entertainment off it. Paul Pierce's rivalry with LeBron had been doing the rounds recently, and that reminds us all of the great rivalries from over the years. So in today's video, we've decided to recap the most significant player rivalries in NBA history. Let's get started. Starting with number 10, Russell Westbrook versus Kevin Durant. They say there's a thin line between love and hate, and they're not wrong, KD and Westbrook once struck up an insane partnership playing for the OKC Thunder, and neither of them was at their peak yet. It was a very promising duo with so much promise, and the future looked very bright for the Thunder with two of the best players in the NBA playing for them, but then came the betrayal which would make for one of the greatest rivalries of all time in NBA history. Kevin Durant assured Westbrook that he won't be going anywhere only to leave for the Golden State Warriors in a controversial move that certainly didn't sit right with Russ, and since then they've been sworn enemies having intense battles on the court along with some shoving matches and even almost a fight. The only thing missing from the rivalry is a postseason meeting between the two players which would truly complete the rivalry, but we need Westbrook in the Eastern Conference if that is to happen. Up next at number 9, Shaquille O'Neal versus Dwight Howard. This is truly a funny one because of the difference in legacies of both players, but also because of the origins of the rivalry and the fact that Howard joined the NBA right when Shaq's career was coming to a close. Their beef began when Howard used a Superman contest at the Slam Dunk Contest of 2008. He was sensational during the contest, winning it against some worthy opponents, but Howard's decision to use the Superman costume ruffled some feathers for Shaq. Shaq was given the nickname before Howard, and he didn't like it. The fact is, they still have a rivalry after all those years, even though Shaq retired quite early, but he never misses an opportunity opportunity to take shots at the former Lakers center. It's been 15 years, but the beef still remains fresh, and with Howard's career coming to an end as well, there's not much chance that the beef will be put to bed either. On to number 8, Kevin Garnett versus Tim Duncan. This beef is an all-timer, even though it might be a little strange because Tim Duncan didn't come across as a guy who would have rivalries. But from Kevin's side, it's hardly surprising considering he's one of the greatest trash talkers to step onto the court and get extra points for actually walking the talk to, on many occasions, KG always knew how to get something out of his fellow competitors and didn't hold back no matter how great the opposition was. And that's why despite Duncan being a gentle giant, KG did not hold back and would always try to drive him nuts. But it wasn't one-sided, these were two of the most dominant big men of the 2000s and they had plenty of encore battles. Duncan revealed that even he would try to get in on the act and poke the bear and it would work too, because KG was always up for some of it. Not to mention it's even better because it shows KG got under Dunk's skin for him to even entertain such talk. Moving on to number 7, Patrick Beverly versus Russell Westbrook. Talking about rivalries and beefing, this is one of the best ones and it doesn't even involve a lot of basketball. but when you put two crackers together, you've got to expect fireworks. Russ remains one of the greatest players of all time, having won an MVP and multiple All-Star accolades, and his speed in transition even now can be so hard to deal with, but he's also not exactly a friendly guy on the court and doesn't mind getting in bouts. On the other hand, Patrick Beverly has built a reputation for getting under the skin of the opposition's best players and taking up the task no matter how big the player might be, but the rivalry truly began when Beverly injured West Westbrook by tearing his meniscus during the 2013 playoffs and didn't even apologize. It ruined OKC's chances of going all the way, and since then they've been at each other's throats, although now with both becoming Lakers, the rivalry has cooled down. After that at number 6, Isaiah Thomas versus Michael Jordan. The OG beef of the 90s was between Isaiah Thomas and Michael Jordan, and it remains a significant rivalry in the context of MJ's career, and as a result, the NBA history too. Undoubtedly the greatest team of the 90s was MJ's Bulls, but there were many other teams that challenged them on other occasions, with the early 90s Pistons being one of their biggest rivals. The two teams met many times in the playoffs, and that meant the rivalry between Thomas and Jordan would get renewed almost every year. It made for some cracking on-court battles, with both players getting the upper hand occasionally, but MJ got the better of it, of course. But what makes this rivalry even more true was the fact that MJ had genuine hatred for Thomas, even off the court. 
and once demanded that the Pistons great shouldn't be allowed on the Dream Team, talk about getting under the skin of Michael Jordan of all people, making the top 5 Shaquille O'Neal versus Kobe Bryant, another story where one of the greatest duos in NBA history becomes one of the greatest rivals of all time, Shaq and Kobe struck up one of the most fearsome duos in the history of the game doing the three-peat to start the 21st century and boy were they unstoppable, but by the time Shaq's tenure at LA came to an end, the hatred between the two players had reached a boiling point, Shaq pointed out how he was the reason behind Kobe winning all those accolades and would often tear his former teammate a new one in the media after leaving LA. Kobe would respond in a similar fashion, and if not for the 2009 season where he won another ring with LA, this one could have dragged on for ages. While we were still robbed of a postseason series between these two at the height of their hatred, it's good to see that they reconciled eventually, before Kobe's passing in 2020. Followed by number 4, LeBron James vs. Kevin Durant, LeBron James is currently playing his 20th season in the NBA, so it's not much of a surprise that he's struck up many rivalries with different players over the course of his career. None would be as significant as the one with KD though, and their beef remains one of the biggest ones of modern day basketball. Despite an awful lot of respect recently, at least, the two were one of the biggest on-court rivals during the 2010s. They've also been the two best players in the league, so it's not surprising that their on-court rivalries have been simmering with tension and make for some of the best basketball either of the two has ever played. The superstars have met on many occasions in the playoffs and on three occasions in the finals with KD holding the edge to one when that super team of the Warriors dominated the Cavaliers in 2017 and 2018 while LeBron leads the regular season wins by a huge margin of 15 to 6. Unfortunately, due to some bizarre coincidence, we haven't seen the duo play one another for more than four years now, mind-boggling truly. Onto the top three, Isaiah Thomas versus Larry Bird. That Detroit side had a lot of iconic figures, but fewer as hostile on and off the court as Isaiah Thomas, it's hardly a surprise that he appears on the list more than one occasion. His beef with Larry Bird, though, is one of the most iconic ones. While the two players were both fantastic on court and produced some memorable battles, it was the off-court trash talk that makes this rival rivalry so important, Thomas once told the media that if Bird wasn't white, he'd be just another guy. And that was the founding basis of their rivalry, and it would continue long after their playing days too. In fact, there was so much hatred for one another even after retirement that when Larry Bird became the general manager of the Indiana Pacers in 2003, his first coaching decision was to fire Thomas who was the head coach at the time. We have to say, we respect this beefing, it makes the sport stingier and makes for better entertainment. Coming in at number 2, Bill Russell vs Wilt Chamberlain. Two of the greatest players of all time and certainly the GOATs of their era, Russell and Chamberlain had an intense rivalry, especially due to their on-court performances. This remains one of the most significant rivalries of all time because it actually resulted in the team rivalry between the Boston Celtics and the LA Lakers, which stands even now. Wilt Chamberlain won the individual rivalry due to his staggering statistics, which few have managed to match since then while Russell became a serial winner and no one in history will ever beat his record of winning. 11 championships throughout his career. Of course, though, they were good friends off the court despite the intense rivalry on the court, and that makes for a fantastic story, doesn't it? Finally at number 1, Larry Bird vs Magic Johnson. Of course this one needs no introduction, it is THE rivalry of the NBA, and it is the reason that NBA caught on as a sport during the late 20th century. Both Magic Johnson and Larry Bird were masters of their craft and they would add to the Celtics Lakers folklore with their on-court performances. The duo met in the NBA Finals on three occasions, with Johnson winning two of the three meetings with some iconic individual performances from both players. Since then though they've become great friends off the court, but this rivalry remains the most important one in the history of the NBA because many would say it saved the sport. But that's a wrap for this video my friends, is there any other rivalry that should have made the list? Let us know in the comments below. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you in the next one.